in eastern Iowa, in Iowa City, Iowa, at the University of Iowa, if you're not at the very best, and at the very best by a wide margin, you're gonna get criticism, and that criticism is warranted because we know what we're charged with. It is odd that it has been nine years that we won a team national title. Everyone that I talk to on campus, they're like, you guys are like the best in the country, right? Every, they always say that to me, and I'm like, oh, well, no, we're not. I remember watching them, like, them win the national championship. And that was 10 years ago, I was 10 years old. I think it's something that people are start, maybe starting to get restless, and that's a good thing, because I don't think we should be worried about what the fans think necessarily, but maybe we should just start winning. The reason we came here is Iowa's history of winning so many titles and producing national champions. And you know, when you're there and it's not happening, that's you take that personally. So I know the guys on our team, the 10, the ten guys that are going to be in the lineup, there's no way we're fine with settling for that. We're about first place and really nothing less. We're ready to do better than third, better than fifth, better than fourth, whatever we've been in the last five years. Last year, if I was sitting here in front of you, I would think that we had the lineup that we were going to be able to contend. The year before, I would have said the same thing. Kale Sanderson has done what Dan Gable has done and some would say that he's probably been a little bit more dominant, meaning every year it wins by 40 points. But it's not about beating Penn State. It never has been. It's about winning the national championship. Even those lean years where you had those guys that weren't loving to come into the room and wrestle and practice, they would rather be out messing around. My goal every day that I woke up was, how do we get this guy to be a contender? I'll tell you what's different, is that you have 35 or 40 guys running to the same spot as fast as they can. I think a lot of it's accountability and just holding each other accountable. This is the closest team you know, I've been on in my three years. We, we've become closer as a team because that, it's, it's been a priority to us to have a bond like that, you know, to, to be known as brothers. Our re incoming recruits and our team now, they, they believe in themselves and the environment that they put themselves in. And that's when a program becomes really, really dangerous to its opponents. So now you're getting the talent and you can develop, boom. I would say it feels different. Season tickets selling out and people coming up to you on campus, on the street, talking about the team. I mean, I feel like every day someone says something about winning this national title, whether it's the, the fourth string or uh, Spencer Lee, the returning two-time national champ. I mean, I told Bruce Harold my freshman year that we we're going to win one before I graduate. I said maybe two. Buy your tickets now. We're going to be 23 national champions. Go home. He told me this year. He's like, he's like, I'm. I'm he told me. He promised. I said we're going to deliver. <laughs> <laughs>